Welcome back to the channel and we are out here in beautiful Lake Fork, Texas. We're going to be doing a lot of hunting and as they say everything is bigger in Texas and so we figured this was the perfect location to bring the Western Air Guns line of rifles. We're out here on a big ranch, just a huge property out here. It's about 500 acres and tonight we're going to head out we're gonna go after some raccoons. And so I'm real excited to be out here. This is gonna be a multi-day trip. So you guys can look forward to several videos because um, we didn't only bring um, these two rifles. We brought several others which we'll be using. And so I'm just excited to get out and bring you guys along. <music> Yes, yeah, so uh, we jumped in the Yamaha and Butch gave us a ride around the property and maybe right during the beginning of the ride we come around this left hander and a uh, boar just goes running out in front of the side by side. That was pretty cool. So Terry and I are up in the stand here, and we didn't bring Marley, obviously, because it would have been too hard to get her up in here. But we're just scanning, and hopefully we can have some luck.
So for tonight's raccoon hunt, I'm gonna be using the Western Airgun Sidewinder. This is in 22 caliber, and I've got it tuned at just about 50 foot-pounds using the 25 grain redesigns. Very accurate little gun. I've got it topped with the PARD DS35 uh, NV unit. And then Terry has got his 357, which he's gonna be using. And we may kind of trade off. Um, the reason we're bringing the larger caliber is in the event that we see something larger, um, that 357 is gonna definitely come in handy. Huh? You missed out on the coyote. Okay, well I use a raccoon hunt, I use a Viper Light. It's made by Sunspot, Sunsport, I'm sorry. And um, it's got uh, a walking light, and it's got a little brighter walking light. You can see out there, and then it's got a spotlight for shining the coons in the tree. And then if you go the other way, and it's got red lights that you can see their eyes a lot better with. And then we also got a laser on it. To, when you want to pick something out in a certain spot to show somebody, we can point that laser at it. So it's a pretty handy little light. And then we have a, a Garmin tracking unit here, which we can get a collar on our dog, which is like this collar right here. And it uh, transmits to a, I'm a handheld here, and I can tell how far my dog is. I can tell if he's running or if he's treeing. When I was about 10, and back in them days we used to hide hunt, and sell hides for, for money, and that's how I got started into this. And then through the years, I just graduated up to different kind of dogs that I hunted, and then I started competition hunting in the 90s. And um, I had mountain curs at that time is what I was running, and I had the, the first cur dog that went to the PKC hunt, which is a registry, and I went to the world hunt, and I got in the top six with that dog. And everybody was asking me kind of what that was like. And I said, well, it was kind of like taking a mule to the Kentucky Derby and winning. <laughs> so um, it was quite an honor to get to that point of the, that event. Go find him. Go get him. Wow. You got him, Terry. Good boy. Skipper found this guy up in the tree. Had a boy skipper. And, uh, we put a slug into him. Headshot. My first my <laughs> headshot this is my first raccoon in Texas. So the gun worked great. Butch spotted him up in a tree for me, and I pointed up in that area and gave it a shot and put it right in his head. I like the features on the camera. They're right here where you can get to them, and it's dark, while it's dark. There's some cameras that are really hard to function at night. This one doesn't have that issue.
puppies definitely helped. And he went ahead, treated the raccoon, and we were able to spot him. He was probably about 30, maybe 40 feet up in the tree, and was able to make a headshot on this guy with the 357. Now, one thing I noticed with the uh, thermal, they stand out like a sore thumb, and when they're up in a tree, in kind of a crevice, um, they are difficult to spot. And without the dogs, um, I think it would probably be nearly impossible. He's in there 130, 137 yards right now, straight north, 140 yards. So he's hunting, Just he'll just keep going until he strikes a coon. And when he does, he'll let us know he's on the track and then he'll tree it and we'll go in there and shoot it out to him. It takes a little bit of time to find them up in there. So, uh, two for me and one for Terry. Although Terry's, I think, was the biggest out of the three. Yeah, yeah. But still, that's man, a this is good a, size coon there. He's just wet. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's true. It's wet. Probably doesn't look as big. But man, these things are really difficult to spot up in the trees. And I've learned a lot, you know, just watching Butch work his dog and using the red light and a lot of what he does really makes sense and uh, I've definitely had a lot of fun out here. The sidewinder worked really well. It took a couple of shots because like I said they're up probably about 30 feet in the tree and it's so thick and the areas that we're having to navigate through um, this particular area is like a swamp and uh, a lot of the other areas had briar patches and vines, and it's not easy. And so I can, there's definitely no way that you could you could hunt these without a dog. Um, maybe you could, but it would be really really difficult. Marley. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us on a raccoon hunt. It was my first time hunting raccoons. I know Terry's first time as well. And having the pleasure to come out with somebody like Butch that has that much experience. And your dog Skipper is just amazing. Um, without him, I don't think this hunt really would have happened. And he's a, an amazing dog. And uh, you know, I really appreciate it bringing them out on this hunt. And I know Marley had fun. The guns worked extremely well. They were very accurate, worked well. The, the part night vision worked extremely well. The thermal worked extremely well. I know Butch was kind of impressed with uh, the air guns. Yeah, no doubt about it. They're pretty awesome. But we do have some more footage coming. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along and and I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.